All right, let's go to Shop Carl's here. Let's get some of these blighted jigs everybody's been talking about. Huh? Sold out. And both? Well, I don't like that. I wanted to use my discount, because you know you can save up to 30%. On this one it's 20%, I can get these for under $13 on Shop Carl's. Let's go to Tackle Warehouse. What? Till like early to mid-April. June, are you kidding? We're going to eBay. $75? Nope, not doing that. I mean, that's crazy to pay that much on eBay for like, just a chatterbait. I mean, yeah, it's a really good chatterbait, but it's really just a chatterbait. Two weeks ago, they were nearly $100. I mean, that's just insane. What we're gonna do is uh, I've ordered some skirt material. I've got a evergreen uh, jackhammer jig, and I've got some paint. And we're gonna make our own. Stay tuned, let's do it. So you're just gonna need a couple things. Number one, I got on Shop Carl's, which is where I bought all my tackle, and I bought just a white, a clear water shad, evergreen jackhammer. So that's this one in three eighths. So that guy right there, I got on Do It Molds and got some skirting material. And uh, I believe I got this on Do It as well. Can't remember where I got it, but I got the paint. Just like in a little burnt orange paint. That's the main stuff you need, and you can get all that, I mean, $12.79 if you use Shop Carl's. Um, link will be in the description if you want to use that. Um, you can use my link to get there, sign up for a Shop Carl's membership. This is actually called Blaze Orange. Blaze Orange is actually what the color is. So that's really the color. I know the Jack Hammers um, in that fire crawl or that orange, and it's got black and red skirting. I could not find a black and red skirting, so we're just gonna go with all red, and we may take a black Sharpie and do it up the way we're supposed to. <laughs> get it? Do it. Do it up, get it? All right, that's pretty funny. So I've got a little paintbrush that we're gonna use. I've got some wire cutters, even though we're not using wire, I'm actually just gonna use some line. I've got some eight pound test line that we're gonna tie that skirt on. It's gonna be a hand tied skirt. And I've got some vice grips. I'll show you what these are for. If you've got a fly vice, that's probably gonna be the best thing. I don't, I don't tie flies. I don't normally tie jigs. But for today's video, we're gonna do a poor man's job of using these to make like a little vice that will hold the hook while I tie this jig on. And uh, that's really it. Let's get started. Come around here. All right, ladies and gents. So what I'm gonna do right now I'm going to set up my little vice setup here. Something like that. Sweet. I'm gonna turn it this way so y'all can see what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do right now is I need to take this skirt off. All right. See, and they hand tied it with like like legit hand tied like nylon we're not gonna go that that fancy so and now we got this this naked old jig here I'm gonna try not to get any paint on the blade I've already taken the blade out and painted it black um, and by black I mean I took a sharpie and put black sharpie all over it that's something you may or may not want to do that's up to you I like doing that to all of my blades on jigs I don't really like a silver blade so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna paint this jig head and let it dry and then we'll come back and we'll put the new skirt on and we'll be done. This is going to take several coats a bit. Alright, there's the first coat. You can see that there's the first coat. All right, so now that this guy's dried, we're gonna put another coat on, and I'm only focused on the bottom on this coat, and I will explain why here shortly. I've got some Sharpies. We've gotta do some special stuff to the top. And this is really just to get where we know we're gonna hit. 
like as far as like hitting bottom just to add an extra little bit of insurance all right i think our painting is done it only takes about 10 to 15 minutes to dry but so far so good and we can start working on our skirt material here all right so rule of thumb here on these skirts if you want about 40 to 60 strands per jig i'm gonna say that's probably 20 because i may not use all of it then we'll take this red i'm going to try to stretch it and flatten it out as much as i can but we're gonna come over here we're gonna take our black sharpie all right, so we're gonna take our black Sharpie. Stretch this out. And we're just gonna turn some of this black. We're just modifying it. Much darker, a better look for what I'm going, for better for what I'm going for here. Hopefully y'all can see the difference from what it used to be versus what it is now. Hopefully y'all can see that difference. We've still got some of that red in there, but it still shines red in the right light. But it's just way, it's just way darker now. To take the head and match it to the skirt, we're actually gonna take the Sharpie gonna draw in black right here. I'll show you what we're about to do. We're coming right off the eyes. What I'm doing is no different than what is already on these baits. All right, now after I've darkened it up like that, we want to put a little bit of a little bit of definition back into it. So we've added our black. We'll come back with just a light coat of orange. All right. I don't know how well that's showing up on camera, but to me that looks pretty darn good. Um, and that black, because I didn't let the Sharpie fade, or dry, I should say not fade, because I didn't let the Sharpie dry, that black actually ran a little bit. There we go. Which totally adds to the transition here because that's kind of an abrupt transition. So that's what it looks like. Almost makes it a little brown. It's got a little bit of a crawl look to it. All right, folks, last little bit here. We're gonna take this little bit of clear here. All this is is clear fingernail polish. Just gonna make it all pretty. gonna do it nice and shiny all right folks so we've given this about 45 minutes to dry it is nice and glossy looking pretty good pretty happy with that again black black blade we just all we did was take a sharpie to that so here's what we're gonna do I need to go get scissors is what I need to do I need to take some scissors and we're just gonna cut off a couple of these strands pretty much like that about the same amount just a quarter now this next part is really really easy all right so what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a uni knot with our line so i've got a little loop there and we'll come back through make another little loop right here I actually do my uni knot, so I'm kind of got just a just a loop there that we can pass all of this through. And I don't want to get this too tight just yet. I want it to be tight enough that it'll slip. I'm gonna tighten that up in a minute, but that is basically what I'm after. Hopefully y'all can see that. I've got a little bit of a loop there. We're gonna take these skirts. Let's adjust this so it's straight up and down. Try to get them about even. I'm 
I'm sure there's gonna be some jig makers out there that are gonna be like, dude, you were totally not doing this right. And you're right, I'm not a jig maker, so of course I'm not doing it right. I'm doing it the way that makes the most sense to me. So get off me. Tight as it'll go, like so. All right, that knot is not going anywhere. And, all we have to do now is, oh, y'all can't even see. There. Hopefully, y'all probably couldn't see any of that, what I just did, but basically I just held the jig there, because I've got the camera leaned down a little bit too far. I held the jig there, got, tied the skirt on, pulled it over, and now I need to cut these lines, because the knot is secure, and I need to cut the tabs, and we have made ourselves a fire crawl jig. Hopefully y'all are seeing what I'm doing. Because I can't see the camera right now. There you go. That is your fire crawl. The thing about it's the same. The, the internals are the same. The things that matter are the same. It's got the same jig head, it's got the same blade, it's got the same connection, it's got the same bait heap keepers, the same hooks. All we did was paint the head a different color, throw on a new skirt, and boom, people. You gotta wait till after all the crawls have been eaten um, to be throwing a crawl colored bait. And I must say, that looks pretty dang close to what we were after. It's a sexy looking jig. All right, let's close this video out. Well. I don't know about you guys, but that was an absolutely fun one. I actually really enjoyed doing this video. That's gonna do it for today. That was a fun one, making the, making the uh, little the little fire crawl by Z-Man on their own product. So if you can't if you can't do it yourself, um, you're gonna be waiting until like June uh, to get to get some of these, or at least you know mid to early April from what we saw on some of the things. But that's not even sure. That's just when they think it's gonna come in. So anyway, all you gotta do is just go online, get you some stuff from, from like Do It, or I think there's, there's also like jigskirts.com or skirt something like that.com. Be careful when you search for stuff like that. You never know what you're gonna get. Use the stuff from Do It, the, uh, the color, but all you really have to do is go to any Walmart or whatever and get some nail polish that matches the same color, because that's what we did for the clear coat. We just used nail polish from my wife's nail polish area she's got in her makeup, her makeup kits. But you can take any jackhammer. I preferred the white because I knew it would be a good, a good starting point as far as primer goes. Um, and that's what we turned it into. That to me looks almost identical to everything in the pictures. You don't have to wait till June. You can do it yourself. If you like the content today, hit the, hit the thumbs up. We do crazy stuff like this all the time. So if you enjoyed this one, you'll probably enjoy more of the stuff we do on here. So go ahead and hit the red subscribe button, turn it gray, hit the ding dong notifications if you wanna be notified anytime we drop a new video. And as always, leave a comment below on how you thought that turned out. I think they look pretty dang good. Um, I would definitely fish with it. And in fact, I will fish with it. Hopefully in some upcoming videos, you will see me catch a fish on the homemade or home painted uh, fire crawl. Dude, I think that turned out awesome. Alright guys, we're getting out of here. See y'all later. Bye.